Hey there, this is Travis. Today we're going to be looking at a song called Happening. Let's give it a listen. One, two, three, ready and play. Now that you've listened to the song, let's see what it looks like when I play it. You can probably see that the playing hand in this song is staying on string number one and two, and the fretboard hand is going up and down the first string. Sometimes I'm switching fingers between frets, and, I'm just, and then sometimes I'm just sliding down the string. So let's take a look at the music, where I've already done some annotation, and let's see what we're looking at. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six lines of music. I've already written in my playing hand pattern, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. That's gonna stay the same. One, two, two, one, two, two, one. Through the whole song, one, two, two, one, two, two, one. That's what we're gonna be practicing in the playing hand when we go to our practice time. So then looking through on the fretboard, I've already gone through and I've used my find the pitches and I said, where's every time I'm playing my second string? Well, that's a lot. A lot of second strings all through this song because my playing hand pattern. One, two, two, one, two, two, one. So then I went through and I said, where's all the times I'm playing my first string? So I only found a couple. I have this down here and then, and then down at the very bottom of the song. Then I just went up my fretboard and I said, where's every time I'm finding my second fret? Uh, I found a couple through the music. Then I went up to my fourth fret, I found all my fourth frets. Fourth frets, fourth frets, fourth frets. I went through and found all of my fifth frets. All of my fifth frets. All of my seventh frets. Just going up the fretboard saying, where are these pitches? So we're gonna practice those hands separately. Before you do, make sure you write down your playing hand pattern and the fretboard numbers. So, my playing hand pattern, I got middle finger on string number one, index finger on string number two. I'm gonna play one, two, two, one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one, two, two, one. The whole song. So make sure you get that playing hand comfortable switching those fingers between the first and the second string. If I look now just at my fretboard, I'm going to want to try to switch my fingers between these big leaps and these little steps. So from 7 to 9, 
switching index to ring finger. From five to seven, same thing, switching index to ring. From four to five, same thing, switching index to middle. From two to four, switching index to ring. So I might practice seven, seven, nine, five, five, seven, four, four, five, two, two, four. Just making sure I'm switching fingers between the right frets. B section, my fingers are switching in a different direction. I'm going eight, eight, seven. One trick for this is that you can have both fingers down the middle finger and the index finger, so you're not sort of flipping between them. So you have both down, and then you just lift one of them. So eight, eight, seven, middle, middle to index. Five, five, four, middle, middle to index. Two, two, zero, just index to getting off the string. Four, four, zero, ring finger to getting off the string. Again, you're going in a different direction, eight to seven, five to four, two to zero, four to zero. Looking down at my last two lines, again, I have seven, seven, nine, five, five, seven, four, four, five, two, two, zero, and you're off the string. So go really slow when you're putting your hands together. Make sure that you give yourself enough time to switch each finger comfortably and making sure that your fingers are landing next to the frets, not on top of them, that your fingers are landing on the tip of your finger, not on the flat part of your finger, that your fingers are still curved over the strings, not going flat. So those are a couple of practice tricks for you. Make sure you annotate the score and that you practice your hands separately and that you go slow when you're putting them together. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.